Welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga, you guys. With me, Leslie. And you can't see him right now, but Lenny is right out of reach. And I'm sure he will be in frame soon. So, I'm so looking forward to this morning session. It is going to be a beginner-friendly uh, yoga session, so that way you guys can get a bunch of instructions, have all the modifications, and feel confident to move through the session today. Um, so, go ahead and get your mat set up. I told you he'd be back. Get your cats, get your dogs, get your kids, maybe, or send them to another room. Do something. Get your water because we need that. Hello, glad you are here this morning. Thanks so much for joining. Again, this is going to be a beginner friendly yoga, so I promise you will feel successful when we are done. Uh, so again, get your mat set up, get your water. I promise this is water and not wine. That would be a very interesting session. And make your way down to the floor. And we will uh, do some dang yoga. Come into a nice, comfortable, cross-legged position. Whatever is comfortable for your body. I'm going to say that over and over uh, throughout our practice. Uh, just because I can do something doesn't mean that you can. So modify along the way. Find what feels comfortable within your own body. And uh, we'll go from there. So sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands right into your laps. Go ahead and close your eyes. We're just gonna focus on our breath here for a little bit. So take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. I know, it feels weird the first time. So take a big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Good. Just let your breath come to a nice normal rhythm in and out through the nose. Inhaling in. Exhale. Release those shoulders down away from your ears. Being mindful that you're sitting up nice and tall, not letting your uh, spine roll forward, getting into that hunched posture. And now for my newbies, this beginning part is always the hardest because sitting here breathing and just trying to focus on our breath and ignore all of those thoughts running through your head is really quite a challenge. It's probably more challenging than any pose that I'm going to show you today. So really just focus on that breath, inhaling in through the nose, exhale through. And when you notice that your mind starts to wander of whatever thought or emotion that starts to come up, it's okay to just let it pass by. Don't give it the energy. Don't give it any attention. Don't start that dialogue in your head. Just come back to your breath, and you can even start to count your breath to take the language to the breath. So with that inhale, we'll inhale on one. Exhale on two. Three. Four. And keep that going until you get to 10 and then start again, just keeping your attention right there on the breath. And again, you might notice some thoughts try to pop up and that's okay. You just let them go, focus on that breathing. Now I want you to do a body scan from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. We're just going to acknowledge what's going on in our body. Notice what feels just fine, what has maybe a little bit of discomfort or unease within the body. We're not going to, again, send any energy to them. We're just going to notice, be aware, and just let it go. So we start at the head, continue breathing through your nose. As you start to visualize moving down through the skull, maybe you're behind your eyes, into the throat, your jaw, moving down into your shoulders. You can even give them a little shoulder roll, helping bring your attention there. Move down through the chest, your arms, your ribs, down into your abdomen into your hips, down through your legs, 
at your knees, your calves, your ankles, and all the way down to your toes. And we just pay attention to what's going on in our body, right? Because when we sit here in stillness and we breathe, some areas will start to scream at us that we didn't even know were an issue. So throughout our practice, we can be mindful of those areas, acknowledging what we need to modify or change to make ourselves feel good. So again, take another big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Great. You can keep your eyes closed and just listen to my voice, or you can open your eyes. Whatever is comfortable for you here. With that next inhale, I want you to lift your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Get a big stretch here. Send your chin towards the ceiling. Look up. You can keep your eyes closed again. And as you exhale, float your arms down to your side. Tuck your chin into your chest. Feel that lengthening through the back of your neck. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale. This time, inhale, hold it at the top, interlace your fingers, turn your palms towards the sky, get an extra big stretch here. As you exhale, go ahead and release that bind, open your arms nice and wide, you can roll through your neck, roll through your wrist, find some movement that feels comfortable within your body here, and then release your arms all the way down. Inhale, lifting them all the way up. And as we exhale, we're going to twist to the left side, bringing that left arm behind you, right hand onto the left knee, and go ahead and look over your left shoulder. Holding it here, focus on that breath. Big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Notice where you're holding in tension. Maybe your left or your right thigh is starting to inch away from the ground. Give a little shake and just let it relax. Part your lips just slightly, opening through your jaw, releasing any tension that's running down your neck and into your shoulders. We'll take one more breath here, inhaling in and out. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, twist to the right this time. Look over that right shoulder, part your lips and breathe. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall here. And notice if you have a short, stifled little breath that's coming mostly from your chest, or if you're really expanding through that diaphragm. So with your next inhale, I want you to really visualize your lungs filling up. You can feel your rib cages pulling side to side. And exhale, let it all go. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky. And as we exhale, keep that right arm in the air. Release that left palm down to the floor. Lean over to the right, getting a nice side body stretch here. You can start to inch your left hand closer to the edge of your mat. And if available to you, you can always drop down onto that forearm. But if you're lifting in that right hip, just stay with that palm on the ground. Find what's comfortable for you here and turn your chest towards the ceiling. If you have any issues in your shoulders, you can release that top arm down to your hip and just roll that shoulder blade to the back wall. Focus on that breathing. Really visualize that right hip, right, right hip, right rib going towards that side wall. Feel the expansion and the contraction. One more breath here. Big inhale in. And now, inhale all the way back up. And with that exhale, release your right arm up down this time. Keep that left arm in the air and find the positioning that you would like with that hand as you start to lean towards the right. Turn your chest towards the sky. Look up. Bring a smile onto your lips. Focus on that breath. Big inhale in. And now, Again, really visualize your left rib cage expanding towards the sky here. Getting as deep as a stretch as you possibly can. One more big inhale in. And now, 
Inhale, bring it all the way back up, both arms all the way up, palms together, release them down to your heart center. Take a breath here, inhaling in and out. Great, open your arms like a giant letter W here. Inhale, we're gonna bring our elbows and our palms together in front of us, and as we exhale, we're gonna pull our shoulder blades towards the spine in the middle. Really feel that contraction here as we exhale. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going. In, out. Connect your breath to the movement. Really make sure you're getting that squeeze at the back. Working on stabilizing your shoulders, your shoulder blades, helping correct all of the things from our normal day-to-day -day life. Whether you're on a computer, staring at your phone, hunched over in your couch, getting nice and comfy, we gotta reverse the effects of that so we don't have any pain, any unease in the body. One more, inhale forward, exhale back. Go ahead and release your elbows down to your side. Turn your palms up to the ceiling. Inhale, we're gonna bring them forward. And as we exhale, we're gonna draw those thumbs towards the back wall. Really try to keep your elbows pressing into your sides here. Inhale forward, exhale, pull back. Inhale, exhale. And again, feel that rounding of your shoulder blades turning in towards your spine. Feel that contraction as you pull your thumbs back. Keep moving with that breath. And we'll do two more. Last one. Great job. Release your hands down onto your knees. With our next inhale, I want you to sit up nice and tall. Press your chest forward. Look up towards the ceiling, but don't crank your head all the way back. And as we exhale, we're gonna tuck our chin into our chest, pull our spine towards that back wall, getting a rounding here. Loop your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come forward, press your chest forward, look up. Exhale, round, pull it to the back, tuck your chin in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, and exhale. One more, in and out. Come all the way back into our nice seated position, sitting up nice and tall, we'll take one breath here. Inhaling in and out, let it go. Great, we're gonna come on to all fours, bringing your knees right underneath of your hips, your wrists directly under your shoulders, coming into our tabletop position. You can play around with having your feet flat on the mat or tucking your toes under. Just again, find what's comfortable for you here. Have a nice flat back here, going from the top of your head all the way to your tailbone. Press into your hands, open your fingers nice and wide so we're not collapsing in our shoulder and make sure you're keeping the weight of your body really equal with all 10 fingers here. Take a big inhale and look forward. Exhale, let it go. With your next inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, send your hips to the sky, look forward. Make sure you're pressing up and out of your shoulders here. And as we exhale, we're gonna pull our chin into our chest, tuck that tailbone under, lift your spine towards the sky. Just like we were doing moments ago, seated, but now we're going through our official cat cows. Inhale, drop that belly, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale and exhale. One more, just like that. In and out. Great job. Inhale, come back into our neutral tabletop position, holding it here for a breath. Inhaling in and out. With your next breath, I want you to sweep your right fingertips forward. Really get your arm parallel to the ground here. Take a big inhale. And with your exhale, slow and controlled, send that left leg back behind you. Point your toes, lengthen through your fingers, press up and out of that left arm. Inhaling in, exhale. See if you can lift that arm and leg just a little bit without collapsing in that low back. And with your next exhale, we're gonna pull elbow into your knee, right into the center. Arch your back here. 
And with your next inhale, lengthen it all the way out, slow and controlled. Exhale, connect. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. In and out. One more, just like that. Great. Go ahead and plant that knee, plant that palm, and we'll move on to the opposite side. Inhale, sweep your left fingertips forward. Really expand through your fingers here. Give them a little wiggle. And when you're ready, send your right toes back, holding it there for a breath, pressing away from that right hand. Take a big inhale in. And with that exhale, slow and controlled, connect elbow to knee, arch that back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. Inhale. And exhale. Do two more with your own breath. Last one. Great job. Go ahead and release your hand down. Release your elbow down. Take a big inhale and curl those toes under. And with your exhale, send your hips all the way up to the sky. Pull your chest towards your thighs, coming into our downward dog. It's okay if your knees are bent. It's okay if your heels are lifted. With time, with practice, you gain that flexibility. Make sure you're putting all 10 fingers really firmly into that ground. Turn your elbow creases towards the front wall. Think spiraling your biceps towards the sky. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale in. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here, pressing into all 10 fingers. With your next inhale, bend your knees, look forward, and step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Bringing both of your feet a few inches apart from one another. Take an inhale, glide your hands up to your shins, straighten through your upper body, straighten through your legs, halfway lift. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, go ahead and get a nice bend in your knees, release your upper body over your lower body, tuck your chin into your chest, and just be still. Allow your neck to release, your lower back to open, and just breathe. Inhaling in, feeling your body lift away from your thighs. Exhale, let it go. And it's okay if your hands aren't down to the floor like mine. You might be way up here, and that's okay. That just means you got some work to do to gain that mobility. With your next inhale, glide your hands back to your shins. Come into that halfway lift. And as you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Try to keep your fingertips on the mat this time. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. With your next inhale, we're gonna slow and controlled. Roll all the way up to standing. Rolling through your legs, straightening them here, tucking that tailbone under. Rolling through the low back, your mid back, your upper back. Loop those shoulders up, back and down. Lengthen through your neck and then your head. Open your palms to the wall in front of you. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, close your eyes. Just standing here, really noticing the pressure in your feet. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift all 10 toes off the mat. You might feel your body shift. It's going to find its own balance. If you need to open your eyes to feel a little more grounded, a little more stable, that's okay. Exhale, release your toes all the way down. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hands. We're going to draw a big circle as we stand all the way back up, lengthening through. Give me a slight back bend at the top. And as we exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down onto the mat. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting into a plank. Make sure your wrists are directly underneath of your shoulders here. 
pull your belly button into your spine to get the best from this position. You can always take a modified bringing your knees down onto the mat. Just make sure you have a nice straight line from the top of your head all the way down to that tailbone. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale in. Exhale, pull your abs in, press that air out. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna stay here for one more breath. Big inhale in. And as you exhale, we're gonna keep our elbows into our side and slowly lower all the way down as we move through our first vinyasa. Bring that belly all the way down. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, press into your hands, sending that upper body away from the mat. Lengthen through your arms here. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Take a breath, inhaling in. And as we exhale, open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes into touch. Send your hips to your heels. Release your forehead all the way down to the mat. Child's pose. You've earned it. Go ahead and close your eyes, keeping those arms extended out in front. And just focus on that breath. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, release it through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more, just like that. In and out. Great. Just let it come in and out through the nose in a nice normal rhythm. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, find your flow all the way up into our tabletop position, curling your toes under, coming into that nice flat back. We'll take a breath here, inhaling in. And as we exhale, send your hips all the way up to the sky, coming into our downward facing dog. Adjust your hands, adjust your feet that's needed. Listen to your body here. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, I want you to pedal through your heels, lifting one heel, dropping the other, getting a little extra lengthening through the backs of your legs. Make sure we're pulling our chest towards our thighs. Focus on that breath, inhaling and exhale. You can move your feet as a connection to that breath. And a nice, steady, even pace. Inhale into stillness, holding it here for one breath. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Coming into our forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle as we stand all the way up. Give me a slight back bend at the top. Exhale, release your hands to your heart. Take a breath here, close your eyes. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, release them down, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms down. We're only gonna step back our right foot. Shifting your weight forward, getting a nice big bend in this front leg. Keep that front knee in line with your ankle here. Bring, come onto your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen your chest forward. 
exhale, release that back knee down, uncurl your toes, and go ahead and plant your right palm down on the mat, and even with that shoulder. Take a big inhale and exhale. Shift your body weight forward, taking any pressure out of that back knee. And when you're ready, open that left arm all the way up to the ceiling. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale. Feel your ribs expand. Exhale. Let it go. Pull that shoulder blade towards the back wall. And just breathe. Bring a smile onto your lips. Enjoy this stillness. Take a big inhale. And as we exhale, bring that left palm inside of your left knee. Press away, lengthening through that arm, and look away. Feeling a nice deep stretch through your hips here. You might even get a little shake in that right arm as it holds you up. And it's okay. We feel the sensations. We acknowledge what our body is capable of doing for us. And we give thanks, right? Because you can breathe, you can move, and that's friggin' awesome. One more breath here. In. And as we exhale, we're going to come back to center, bringing your hands right around that foot. And as we inhale, we're going to send our hips towards our heel and go ahead and curl those front toes up towards your nose. You can bring your hands in line with your mid calf and go ahead and tuck your chin into your chest. Feeling a lengthening, moving from the base of your skull, looping all the way down towards your heel. Focus on your breath here. Inhaling in and out. Inhale and exhale. You can play around with how big of a bend you have in your knee. Maybe you want to try to straighten that leg a little bit more or take a bend out because it's just not feeling comfortable. With your next inhale, come onto your fingertips, press your chest forward, lengthen through your spine, and as we exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, pull your upper back towards the ceiling here. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, rounding. Inhale, exhale. One more, in, out, with your next inhale, roll through that front foot, curl your back toes under, lift that knee off the ground, step your right foot up to meet your left, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bringing your hands to the back sides of your ankles, pull your elbows as wide as your room, tuck your chin into your chest. Just focus on that breath here. Again, you can have a nice big bend in your knees. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant those palms down. Step your opposite foot back this time, and then the other, shifting into plank, and we'll move through that vinyasa. Inhaling in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhaling into up dog, pressing into those arms, lengthening through here. And as we exhale, send it back into child's pose. Open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes into touch. Send your hips to your heels. Release your forehead all the way down. Arms extended out in front. Now, if you feel like your hips are way away from your heels, that's okay. You can always press into your fingertips, helping push your hips a little closer. But don't strain anything here. We just take this moment to completely surrender, to be still, be present, and just breathe. Really focus on having a nice, easy rhythm in through the nose and out. Letting your heart rate come back down, letting your breath normalize. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And go ahead and bring a giant smile onto your lips. And you guessed it. I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. But this time, be a little more specific.
next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. Pressing into all 10 fingers, curling your toes under, sending your hips towards the sky, turning your biceps towards the ceiling. And just breathe, inhaling in and out. Go ahead and rock through your hips. You can drop your left hip towards the left edge of your mat and then send it over to the right side, keeping an even pressure in through all 10 fingers here to get a little extra stretch in your side body. Notice if you're really holding onto your neck, just let it go, let it relax. One more, each side. And come back into our stillness, holding it here for one breath. Inhaling in, exhale, let it go. Go ahead and bend those knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees. Draw me that big circle all the way up to standing. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a breath there. Inhaling in and out. Let's go ahead and sweep those arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, release them back behind. Interlace your fingers here. You can create a little box or try to hold your palms close together. Inhale, press your knuckles towards the ground here. Pull your shoulder blades in towards the spine. Lift your chest towards the sky. Focus on your breath here. Big inhale. And as we exhale, send your hips towards the back wall as we come into a bound halfway lift. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine, holding it here. And as we exhale, forward fold again. If this bind is not comfortable, just go ahead and release. Tuck your chin into your chest. Allow your neck to release here. Take one big inhale. And with your exhale, slow and controlled, release that bind, bringing your hands all the way down. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms in, and this time we're just gonna step back that left foot, coming onto our fingertips, shifting into that front leg, getting a nice 90 degree bend here. Inhaling in, and exhale, release that back knee down. Uncurl your toes, plant that left palm down on your mat, and when you're ready, open that right arm all the way up to the sky. Loop that top shoulder blade towards the back wall and shift your weight forward, taking the pressure out of that knee. Focus on your breath. Big inhale. And exhale. In. Out. Are you smiling? If not, you better be. Because if this is your first time doing yoga, we're almost done and you've made it this far. And it might have been a struggle, but that's okay, because through struggle, we only get better. Amen to that, right? Take a big inhale. Exhale, bring that right palm inside of that right knee. Inhale, lengthen through that arm, press away, and look away. Getting that nice lengthening, make sure we're lifting up and out of that left shoulder. And just breathe, focusing on that breath. Nice and even inhale and exhale. You can move your head around, giving a little extra movement in your neck. Find what feels good. And with your next breath, we're gonna release back to center, framing your foot with your hands. And when you're ready, send your hips towards your heels, curl that front toe in towards your nose, tuck your chin into your chest. Holding it here, focusing on your breath, and just allowing yourself to be still for a moment. Inhaling in and out. With that next inhale, come onto your fingertips, lengthen through that upper body. Inhale, send your chest forward. 
Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Round that upper spine towards the ceiling here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. One more. In. Out. With your next inhale, roll through that front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift that knee away from the ground. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Forward fold. Tuck your chin into your chest. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow. You can have a nice bend in your knees. And find a slight sway, left and right. And just focus on that breath for a moment. Feeling your belly press into your thighs. And then your upper body releasing a little bit more with that exhale. Notice if you're holding tension in your neck again, just let it go. Give your head a little shake. Yes, no. And then find a moment in stillness, taking a breath there. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. Plant those palms. Step one foot back and then the other and move through your vinyasa. And send it all the way back into child's pose. Now you can keep your knees right in at that center line and send your hips all the way back. That'll open up through your low back a little bit more. Or you can again open them as wide as your mat, sink your hips to your heels, opening up through your hips here. Release your forehead down, close your eyes. Focus on that breath, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more just like that. In. Out. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose. Go ahead and drag your hands back underneath of your shoulders. If you've got your knees wide, if your knees are into the center, take your hands all the way back towards your heels, flipping those palms all the way up, releasing your shoulders forward. Fully surrendering here in this pose. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Bring a big smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. And with your next inhale, bring your hands right under your shoulders if they're not there already, and press your upper body away from that mat, pulling your knees into center here. Send your hips towards your heels, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale in and out. You can get a drink of water right now if you would like. And we're going to start moving into our cool down phase. So again, sitting up nice and tall. Take your right hand to your chin. Just glide your chin back in space. Getting a nice straight line from the top of your head all the way to your tailbone. Notice if you're pressing your belly forward, rounding through that low back. Really tuck your tailbone under here so you can find that length. Focus on your breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. 
Inhale, shift your body weight forward, curl your toes under. Now, if you don't sit your hips back onto your heels like this often, you will feel a really intense pressure through the arch of your foot, maybe even into your toes. If it's too uncomfortable, lift your hips just slightly, taking the pressure out of your feet. Again, sitting up nice and tall, loop the shoulders towards the back wall, glide your chin back in space. Tuck that tailbone under and just focus on your breath here because our mind wants to focus on what's uncomfortable, right? And our brain will go there instantly. It'll go to anything negative instantly. It takes practice to hold space, to focus on our breath, to focus on everything in this moment that actually feels good. So right now, find one thing that you know just feels amazing in your body. Focus on your breath and think of that one thing. One more big breath here. And with that next inhale, lift your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, release them down. Inhale, lifting this time. Lift your upper body all the way up. Press your hips forward. See if you can give me a slight back bend here. Exhale, slow and controlled. Release yourself all the way down. Inhale, lifting, pressing your hips forward. Exhale, release it down. One more, just like that. Inhale, lifting. You're gonna hold it at the top. Focus on that breath. Focus on pressing your hips forward, lengthening through your arms getting a slight back bend here. Take a big inhale, and as we exhale, slow and controlled, release your upper body down, send your legs to one side or the other. We're gonna come onto our bottoms, extending our legs out in front with the bottoms of your feet planted. Take your hands underneath of your kneecaps here, lengthen through that upper body. Take a big inhale, and exhale. Open your palms all the way up towards the ceiling. Inhaling in, exhale, shift yourself back until you can feel your abs engaged. Keep your belly pulling in towards your spine and make sure you're not rounding here. If you're rounding, lift up just slightly, get a little closer to your knees. Inhaling in and out. You can hold here if this is enough of a challenge for you or you can try to lift one foot and then the other, finding your balance on your sit bones here. And again, if you start rounding, pull your knees in towards your chest. Focus on your breath, inhaling in and out. Inhale, exhale. See if you can sink an inch lower. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, release two inches. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna release slow and controlled. No flopping all the way down to the mat. Extend those arms up and overhead. Get a big stretch here. And as you exhale, pull your hands towards your hips. Pull your knees into your chest. Give them a little tug here. Lift that tailbone off the mat. And then find a moment of stillness. Inhaling in and out. You can take a moment, spiral through your ankles here. You can get out your snap crackles and pops. So I know what's happening. It's happening over here too. <laughs> and reverse that direction. And then again, finding that stillness. Take a big inhale. Exhale, bring your palms together right into your chest. Go ahead and send your fingers through your knees. Catch the bottoms of your feet on that outside edge. And with your next breath, send the bottoms of your feet towards the ceiling. Happy baby pose. It's the most ridiculous one, but it's the funnest, right? So you could find a little rock side to side. You can stay right here and just let the weight of your arms pull your legs towards the ground. You can move your hand around. Maybe you wanna grab your big toe. Maybe you wanna bring your hands to your inner arches. Find what feels good. Just explore this pose. You can lengthen a leg while tucking another one in. Try to lengthen both. 
Don't do anything that's gonna cause any discomfort. Stay in the pose for two more breaths, inhaling in and out. One more, big inhale. And as you exhale, bring the bottoms of your feet together, release them down to the center of your mat and allow your hands to come right at your hip creases. Focus on your breath here, big inhale. And as we exhale, press your palms into your thighs. Feel that low back opening up as we give it a little tractioning. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale. One more, just like that. In. And out. Great. Go ahead and release your hands down. Extend one leg and then the other, opening your feet as wide as the mat. Bring your palms down at your hips. Just let your palms face up towards the sky. And go ahead and close your eyes as we move into our final resting pose, Savasana. The goal is to be here, be still, be present, and just breathe. But this also means for our beginners that even if this is a time of stillness, this is when our thoughts want to trickle in of, is she done yet? Can I go yet? What do I got to do next? And I'll remind you, just like we did at the beginning, when those thoughts start to come, let them go by. Don't give them any extra attention and just pull your attention back to your breath by counting. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four, and keep that going until you get to 10 and then start again. With your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, roll through your legs, and wiggle your fingers, roll through your arms and chest. Go ahead and give your head a rock, left and right. And when you're ready, bat your eyelashes open and closed. You're gonna roll onto your side facing me, use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in. And out. And with your next inhale, press yourself away from the floor. Come on, all the way up into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, bringing your hands into your lap. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And out. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Just breathe. Bring your hands down to your heart center, inhaling in and out. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale. And as we exhale, bow forward, sealing our practice for this morning. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me here in this digital space. I hope you guys are feeling energized and relaxed all at the same time, a little looser in your body. Um, if you are here and you loved it, 
thank you. Come again. Invite your friends. If you're watching me on YouTube at a much later date than right now, subscribe, like, do all the things. Um, and I will see you guys again soon. So stay healthy, stay happy, stay hydrated. Have a great day. Bye.